Hi guys. Okay. I look a hot mess, don't I? I'm so sorry. I They changed my medication. So my hydrochloroquine, I get twice a day and they bumped up the milligrams. <clears throat> and I'm having a really hard time with it right now. It's not agreeing with me. So like, I'm really not feeling that well. Um, and then on top of it, I'm having that breathing issue again. And our air quality is fine because I know in Canada they're having all this fire and it's it's like the smoke is spreading. But <clears throat> at the other night, not to get too TMI, but I had gotten sick like really, really bad and I couldn't stop throwing up. And um, so like ever since then, my throat has been hurting, like burning, hurting, <clears throat> changed my voice a little. Um, <clears throat> so like I'm just like... A real mess it's not just I, I've been going downhill a little bit for a, a couple months now um but just getting the diagnosis and finally finding out and he said yes I both I have both I have the Sjogren's and I have the lupus and I also have the fibromyalgia so I have like three things right now going on with me and <clears throat> like um you know it's just a lot so right now I'm like this little ginger ale and like my stomach is like <clears throat> I have I also have nausea medication so <clears throat> I got that <clears throat> it's just um like a lot not I'm just really not feeling well but I got to get used to the medication so I did start a diamond art painting and um I I did it with Stefano was off the other day and I just sat here in the living room with him while he played on his computer and I must have did it for maybe an hour. It's a smaller one. It's not one of the big gigantic ones. It does have 24 colors in it. So it's not that bad. I, I'm making it for my son and his, um, and his fiance. So yeah, I'm doing that. And, uh, trucking along getting like stuff together this is like a bag of dog food right there a little bag and so you know we pre we make their um their wet food we make that for them and i mix it with their their hard food a little bit of water and some greek yogurt um i ha i'm looking to get them they had they take a probiotic but their probiotic is so expensive right now like everything is so expensive so i did read that they could have like um greek yogurt it's unflavored and they seem to really like that so it gets mixed in with their food right now i've got a bunch of them they're all sleeping here so i'm sorry it's so dark out but literally there's no sun i think maine the sun ran away from maine we had sun for a little bit today so and then it just went away so um, I want to cut my hair. It's, it's, I, I, did I tell you, I don't know if I told you guys how my hair is falling out. Like it's literally gobs of it. Like my hair used to be so thick and now it's like just so thin. It's really thin up in here, like in here and it's getting thinner in the back also. And that is part of lupus. So <clears throat> I will be taking, I'm going to be more getting on back on taking my collagen and, um, and my stuff, you know, for that, I'm not too worried about like losing. I don't think I'm going to lose my hair. I just think it's getting thinner. Um, and that's about it. So, you know, I'm doing laundry right now. I have some, um, dog beds washing right now. So, and I got a cute little clip of some kittens that are outside. They're so stinking cute. So, yeah, I got a little clip I'm going to show you. And then we had some a visitor. We had a, a new skunk. We used to have this really big one that came around and he, he left. And we used to have a porcupine. I think I showed you guys the video of him coming out of his nest. And I had never seen that before. So it was really pretty cool to watch that. I think I have that video still. I could put that in also. But nothing really new going on. We're just learning like <clears throat> how to like cope with this new thing and like the um damages that it can do to your organs like my heart the racing of my heart the out of breath that is all part of lupus so i got to keep an eye on my lungs <clears throat> also my kidneys um i'm really having a bad problem my right kidney right now it's just so painful so i'm waiting for a urinalysis test to see what, if whether it's a, i don't think it's a stone 
um, but he wants to see what the proteins are in there, if it's an infection or if it's from the lupus. So, you know, stuff like that. And I got like these little rashes and stuff on my face, which is, I've been getting them for a very long time. So I don't know <clears throat> what else to do, but just sit and see what the doctors do, have a game plan all done for, for my health. Um, I want to, I want to see, um, what else I can do, like, like minerals, vitamins and eating right now. I'm having a problem eating cause I can't, nothing is like either staying down or I just can't eat it. Like it makes me very nauseous. So, but that's it. That's, that's pretty much all of my update. Like, I mean, it's not really great news, but we don't really have a lot of news yet. And like the doctor doesn't want to see me for six months. He doesn't want to see me until December, which I kind of, I got to call them and I got to see about pain management because I can't handle the pain anymore. So I'm sorry, I'm getting text messages. Um, I can't handle the pain anymore. So that is like, you know, that's the thing right now. It's the pain and like being able to get up and do things and not be in such pain all the time. <clears throat> that's the thing that I get nervous about is um, how much pain it's causing me. And uh, I just don't want to be in pain all the time. I mean, it, it comes with the territory, especially with Sjogren's and fibromyalgia. Yeah, pain. But to have all three of these um, illnesses, and they're quite severe illnesses, all on top of each other. It's just, it's it's a lot to handle um, pain-wise, pain management-wise also. So, I don't know guys I just wanted to give you a little update I'm not going to be all glum and things just today I'm really not feeling that good because I'm back on the medication now and it's just making me um a little bit nauseous a little bit tired <clears throat> and so I will be getting a different pain medication in a month we are going to start an injectable that I have to do, only do once a week instead of taking pills all the time every day so that would be good he also gave me medication again to help me sleep because, as you can see, I am not sleeping. Um, I just have, I'll doze off for a little bit and then I'll stay up for hours. So, it's a lot right now. <clears throat> and so, that's about it. That's my update. So, I will try to be back with videos. Um, I have a Dollar Tree haul sitting over there. I haven't done it. I might have Stefano do it for me. Just throw it up so I can put away all that stuff. Um, I have a new diamond art painting I would like to show you guys and then this way I can pick out my winner for that fox so I can get it sent out. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. I'm sorry for the like the blah blah like attitude. Like I just don't feel good and so it's like I'm I want to do videos but I don't want everybody to feel sorry for me. That's not why I'm doing videos because everybody gets sick. It's just how you handle it. And I'm going to try to handle it the best way I can and not complain about things because it could be so much worse, right? So, you know, here's my little girl. It's the dad, Nova Rose. That's Nova Rose. Nova Rose, you want to say hello? So, yeah, she was specially baked for me. <laughs> I always, I said to uh, Stefano, I was like, wouldn't it be so cool if she had one that looked like a Rottweiler? And this little girl, she looks exactly, she's got the little brown paws. She's got the little brown eyebrows. <laughs> yeah. And she is the sweetest little thing. Right? She's so sweet. That's Nova Rose. So, yep. Okay, guys. I will see you guys in my next video. And stay tuned for the end. I'll show you some videos of my nighttime visitor and my little kittens that are outside. All right. Bye, guys.